Starting today, hundreds of students will be headed back to in-person lectures and labs at the University of Arizona. More backpacks, about 1,500 of them back on campus as the university moves into phase two of their re-entry plan. The new stage calls for in-person learning for classes with 30 students or fewer. Arizona's family is your school authority, so we are talking this morning with you, Arizona President Robert Robbins, as the Wildcats get ready to enter phase two. And President Robbins, I'm Thanks so much for joining us. I appreciate it. I know we had a little back and forth about the audio setup for your interview. So glad you're here. I know yesterday Pima County had a positivity rate for COVID at 7.5%. So the trending with COVID is going in kind of the wrong direction, just as you're about to embark on this next phase for the university. Yeah, we, we're very proud, though, of the fact that the uh, RT number in the area code around uh, the university, the 719 area code is, has been really low, uh, much below the one, one that we see for the state of Arizona. It's been 0.16 to 0.21. So we think uh, at least around the university, we've gotten uh, good mitigation and control of the uh, transmissibility of this infection. You had a great strategy as the students were moving in at the beginning of the year with the immediate testing and the ability to house students who were positive together and quarantined until they were safe to assimilate into the rest of the university life. Uh, what has been some of the biggest obstacles for you as these students are returning to campus? Well, it's the, uh, the large gatherings that we've seen off campus. Uh, you know, during the time when we had the surge, we we had reports from uh, neighborhood associations and residents around the university of these really large gatherings, up to 300 students gathering off campus. And we, we know uh, from across the nation that these large gatherings are super spreader events. So we worked uh, with with Mayor Romero uh, and the, the county health department, particularly Dr. Uh, Teresa Cullen to um, have cooperation between our police department, Tucson Police Department, the neighborhood associations, the health department, the mayor's office uh, to crack down on these large gatherings. And, uh, you know, we, we had as many as uh, 400 students in isolation. Today, I'm happy to report we have zero students in isolation and the number of cases that we're seeing per week now are in the single digits. So we feel good about uh, uh, how our students, our faculty and our staff uh, working with the city and the county have really addressed what was uh, a very concerning surge that we had soon after the school year started. President Robbins, just uh, less than a minute left. I know you made the call about canceling, in essence, spring break. So what's the feedback been and what motivated that decision? Well, the same thing that we'll get into uh, with, the, with the break uh, uh, after the fall term. <clears throat> We're really encouraging people uh, not to travel because we know that if you, if you get on an airplane and travel, uh, go and congregate with friends, families, uh, and then travel back. There's so many opportunities to spread this deadly virus uh, that we would prefer that people, at least for the, the fall break, uh, stay at home and take the remainder of their courses online and for spring break, do the same. Not travel uh, to traditional sites like the beach or Las Vegas or wherever. Uh, let's wait until next year uh, and skip it for this year. Uh, so that we can uh, reduce the transmission of COVID-19. Have the best opportunity to keep those students learning in the atmosphere they want to be, which is uh, right there with you in Tucson. So, President Robbins, thank you so much. Thank you.